Hi, I'm Jeff War. I'm the on-site uh, Freightliner rep. Well, kind of working from home now. But today we're going to be going over the new P4 Cascadia Lightweight and tell you about the changes today. Also got Brad Sturgis here from Springfield Freightliner. Uh, we're going to go over the changes today on your lightweight spec, we refer to it as, between the P3, which is the original Cascadia, and the P4, which is the uh, new Cascadia. These are just now coming into the fleet. So uh, we'll start on the outside first and run over the outside items that are a little bit different, and then we'll go to the inside and show you those. So here we are at the front of the new Prime Lightweight Cascadia, which we refer to as the P4. And uh, a couple of things will jump out at you right away. Number one, the wheelbase on this truck is a couple inches longer than the original Lightweight Cascadia. We're now at a 212 versus a 210. And also the cab is a little bit bigger. The BBC on your old Lightweight was a 113, 113 inches. This one is now 116. So a little bit more room inside the truck. Uh, a couple of things that'll jump out here. The new Assurance 5 system, uh, collision mitigation is here. We'll go over that when we get inside a little bit more in detail. Uh, the hood mounted mirrors are now heated. So along with the cab mounted mirrors being heated, the hood mounters are, are now heated on these. We've got a 12,500 pound suspension under the front end versus a 12,000 that we had on the old P3s. If you come back here to the back a little bit, um, you'll notice that the fuel tanks are a little more aft on this truck for weight distribution purposes, and the fill spouts are both back here on the back. Uh, we do have dual load lock carriers like we had on the other truck. We've got LED lights on the uh, rear flange now. The differences around here, like I said, the fuel tanks are both aft, fills here on the driver's side. The step is out here on the tank, which is a little more convenient than where it was before. We've also moved the depth fill to the center panel of this bearing, so it's right here. Uh, and the batteries have rotated from between the rails back in front of the fifth wheel to here under the cab. So this is your battery access. So you can see that it's got a cover on it, but you can see the batteries there. So depth moved here, batteries moved up here under the cab. You'll also notice uh, these A-pillar deflectors that we have on both sides. These have a couple of uh, functions. Number one, it makes the truck a little more aerodynamic. And number two, it actually keeps the face of your cab mirror clean of moisture and gunk in the wintertime. So we uh, heard that loud and clear that we needed to improve that, and we have. And this has been on your standard spec for a year now, and it has made a big difference. We've heard a lot of compliments on this. And the only other thing on the outside I'd point out is that the P4 now has a one-piece versus a two-piece windshield. And the reason for that is the assurance system camera, as you can see in the middle of the windshield there, is much bigger and it would not work. It has to be center mounted and it would not work with the two-piece windshield. So we'll move inside now. Now we're inside the new Prime a Lightweight Spec P4. Uh, some things you'll notice differences uh, between the older truck and this one is the dash is now uh, a little more compact and a lot of the extra gauges that were out here in the dash are now in the driver's display. Uh, you'll notice how open the floor is inside here with the uh, DT12 transmission shifter being up here on the stem. So you'll see in this truck we've got the Assurance 5.0 system. And one rumor to dispel right from the get-go, this system has camera video capability, but Prime is not using either exterior or interior right now. There's nothing here, so uh, I've heard that rumor a few times. This is strictly a forward-looking radar for the collision mitigation and the lane departure warning. Inside here, uh, like I said, you've got some extra storage here on the top of the dash. And instead of having the uh, the ECM and uh, the electronic controls out on the firewall like they were on the old truck. They're now behind this, which we call the E-Vault here. I won't, it's very easy to get to. And you can see the dash, the fuses, everything is right handy right here in the dash. Much easier for the technicians or for the operator if they want to replace something. It's 5.0 system. Uh, it's going to gain you several options. Uh, number one, you're going to have active braking on pedestrians. 
Uh, so if the radar picks up a pedestrian, it's actually going to stop the truck. Uh, it also has adaptive cruise control to zero, which means that if as you're in traffic with the cruise set, it will actually maintain your speed right down to zero miles per hour. And also your, your speed on the roadway from the road signs is gonna display here on the dash. So if you're in a 65 mile an hour zone, you're coming into a town, it goes down to 50, it will display that on here for you and show you a lot like the pickups and cars do now. Uh, in addition, on Assurance 5.0, you're going to have headlights that come on automatically if you have them set in the right position on the headlight switch so when it gets to a certain darkness, your headlights are gonna come on automatically. And also you have a moisture sensor in your windshield where your wipers will come on automatically if, they, if it detects moisture. Uh, in the back of the sleeper here, you'll see we've replaced the, uh, there was a small shelf with doors up here with a bigger, beefier cargo tray, which we've had a lot of good comments about. There's a lot more storage up here. I mean, this is a small cab truck, so there's not, you know, a lot of storage, but, and then we've also added a plasma TV uh, mounting bracket in, with an antenna too. That's an improvement that you did not have. We didn't even have it available on the uh, P3. And uh, also there's a closure rod here on the inside. Also, all of the lights on the inside of the truck are LEDs. I don't know if you can, all the, ex up the sleeper lights and the cab lights are gonna be LEDs in this truck. And a couple other things here on this new driver's display dash is, number one, there's actually a built-in alarm that's in the dash, so you can set your uh, alarm for a wake-up if you need it. And also, we get a lot of questions about the panic button on the Qualcomm. As you can see, this truck already has the Qualcomm installed in it. And the uh, for some of the older, uh, long-time drivers, you, you note that we had a panic button in the dash before. It's actually in the switch module now, so it's red and marked SOS. So it's down in the dash area right here. And on the inside of the new P4, lots of additional storage up here around the driver and the passenger side. We've got glove boxes on both sides. We also have some shelving here, set up for your CV if you want it. And then we've also got some storage up here in the upper levels too. Uh, this is a big change over the P4, or the P3, I'm sorry. On the P4, the under bunk storage, as you can see, is pretty substantial. Uh, the, the bunk lifts up, you've got your, uh, a little bit of room taken up here, but you've got room behind here, and then this whole center area is open, and then it's open over to this side too. So when it comes to the P4 lightweight, these are mo mainly gonna be for the company fleet, for tankers, um, there's gonna be some, some reefers also. But as you can see with the P4, it gives you more convenience, uh, it gives you more uh, comfort, but more more than anything gives you more safety with all the updated safety features. Um, there'll be some coming in between now and the end of the year. And starting in January, you're gonna be getting about 10 a month to come into the fleet for you. So I just, I just encourage you to check it out. If you have any questions, get in touch with me. You can message me or call me and I can get your questions answered just to help you out.